looks all right looks like we are live good morning everyone how's everyone doing thank you for everyone that's tuning in like i always say this live is a little bit delayed from when you guys actually see it so if you guys are seeing this go ahead and give me some sort of heads up thumbs up like comment anything like that just so i know that you guys are receiving what i'm putting out there because like I, I wish I could show you guys like how it is. It's like delayed on here versus on here versus the comments, all that jazz. It's just a little bit off, but good morning or good evening or good afternoon, depending on wherever you guys are in the world. Looks like we're starting to see some people popping in here. 6.30 PM in South Africa. Hello, there it is. Awesome. Hope everyone had a great Halloween, healthy, safe, didn't eat too much candy that could pop off brackets. I was gonna make a whole video on like which candy you should avoid on Halloween and I felt like that would be a really good idea because there's like this period after Halloween. It's like from like this, honestly it's from like October like 20. People start eating their candy and then it moves on through um, like November, end of November and all these brackets pop off and it's like bracket pop off season because everyone's eating and I'm like, what did you do? Well, how'd you pick the brackets? They're like, oh. I ate a milk dud or oh I ate like I don't know Skittles and these like they come in and all the brackets are popped off it's like that time of the year oh sorry the mic's a little far from me it's like that time of the year when all these brackets are popping off like crazy little story until everyone like signs in here this morning so last night I don't know if a lot of you guys are from the US but last night was our, our election night so I was watching I threw in my laundry like really late and I was watching it on I was watching like the live updates and I like knocked out on the couch and I totally forgot about the laundry. I like left it in the laundry machine. And now mind you, this has all my scrubs. I have no clean scrubs to wear for the week. Don't worry, we're clean. A little spoiler alert here, but I left it in there and I fell asleep. And then I just, you know, I, I knocked out, I went to bed. And then this morning I was getting ready for the live. I got my water, I got my coffee. I got all that stuff taken care of. And then I was like, all right, let me get dressed. And then I, I forgot all, all my clothes, like literally all my clothes. Are, are in the washing machine wet and there's like 20 minutes till the live I was like oh this is gonna be bad so really quickly I threw it in the dryer all's well we're all dry everything's folded up it's not put away yet but anyways until everyone was like popping in here I was like you know what let me just give a little bit of a I don't know embarrassing ish live update all right let's see real quick hi from the Bahamas 11 30 p.m awesome don't eat Snickers dude Snickers are my guilty pleasure like this year, I don't know what it is. I, I like Snickers, but this year, like, I love Snickers. Now, you guys shouldn't have Snickers right now because your embraces it literally has all the things that you shouldn't have. It's there's nuts, so it's sticky, hard, and chewy. So, no Snickers until your braces are off. But when you're in retainers, do go to town. Those things are awesome. All right. So, what'd you guys think of the live patient video? Did you guys, did you guys enjoy that? I was, it was hard. It was, it was a little bit difficult to, you know, get the patient to do it and have. It was a lot of people. It was like my assistant, me, and someone recording, which is my other assistant. It was super tough, but it seemed like you guys liked it. So I, I enjoyed making it. It was really fun to edit because it's like I get to rewatch, you know, the whole thing. So it was a lot of fun. Guilty indeed. Oh, you guys eating all the bad foods. Okay. Awesome. Life of Elena. I'm glad you liked it. Okay. So I wrote down some questions from the video that I want to go over and then I'm going to answer some of your guys' questions today. Any questions or concerns you guys have, drop them in the comments. I'm gonna try to read them. It's a little bit tough, but let us see what's going on here. So, one question someone asks is, is that me wearing the gloves? Um, I would hope so because it's my patient. But so the way it works is there's a lot of steps that are done by the orthodontist and, some, and a lot that are done by the assistant. And it really depends on the orthodontist preference, um, availability, things like that. So. When I am available, I'd like to actually put the brackets on myself. Um, but if we're really busy, I have the assistant, you know, prep everything and then put the brackets on. And then I come by and, you know, position it, clean off the glue and things like that. In this video, though, you'll see like three hands at some point. And those three hands, two of those are mine. So when I was the, the one I'm putting the brackets on, you saw my assistant, Eddie, who's like a rock star. My, my assistants, their names are Eddie and Nikisha, and they're like life. I like freaking love my assistants. We have like such a good team. So I was basically, I had um, Eddie basically putting the brackets, like you see him bringing the bracket kind of close to the tooth. And then with my instrument, 
I, I go ahead and I put it onto the tooth and then I clean off all the extra glue and I position it in the perfect spot. So that's my hand on the left, like kind of stretching the cheeks retractor, as well as the one putting the brackets onto the tooth. So if you guys are wondering which, ha which hands in this situation were me, they were me, but in the beginning, like the etching and all that, that was, that was Eddie. So I gotta bring them on in this video. I mean, they're, they're, they're awesome. I, I have like the rock star team. Like I always brag about it. It's NS, it's so important to have a good team. Like they're, they make everything, you know what I mean? Like if they can like get, they got my back, I got their back, A plus. Okay, so yes, that was my hands that were in the gloves in the video, but imagine it wasn't. Anyways, going on to the next one. All right, do dentists feel awkward when the patients open their eyes the whole time? Okay, this depends what you're looking at. Okay, so dentists sometimes feel awkward because like if they're looking straight at me, like that's really awkward. Like I've had patients that stare at me like while I'm working and like I don't notice it because I'm so focused on the teeth, but when my eyes like go up and I see like eyes looking straight at me, it's like, whoa, what are you, what are you looking at? So yeah, that sometimes is awkward when the patient's staring like straight at me, that's awkward. The beauty is, is that um, a lot of the times I have my loops on. I don't, I wish I had them here. I have those loops. If you guys watch that video of what's in my box, there are these things called, the loops are basically gl like glasses and there's a little light on it and uh, magnification. So the magnification makes it so that like I can really like see one spot of the mouth really well. And I have that like, you know, I'm like super zoomed in on the patient's mouth. So I don't know if they're looking at me, right? Except during an adjustment, but usually I'm not there that long for the adjustments. But I don't generally have the patients looking straight at me. What we have though is it's pretty cool. We used to have like TVs with movies on them, but I felt like movies were kind of weird because like you're not in the appointment for that long. You're there for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops. Sometimes I have patients out in like 10 minutes. So watching a movie, like they don't really get a lot out of it. So what I started doing was now I'm running like Spotify just playing music depending on the mood and then I have YouTube going and if you guys have any recommendations on what we should be watching let me know in the description of the video or in the, the live section because I'm running out of ideas we've been doing um, last week we did a lot of like big wave surfing we've done like satisfying art um, what else have we done cooking things but the cooking things make me hungry so I don't like watching the cooking things that much and then we've done I, d I don't put on my videos. People, I've had people ask like, oh, do you guys watch YouTube videos of yourself? I'm like, no, that'd be like so awkward. Like me watching myself and having my patients watch me. It's like, no, watch that on your own time. <laughs> but we, we have like, my favorite one is like the GoPro videos, like where they're doing like crazy things. Those are my favorite things to have on TV. And that makes it so that the patient's not staring at me. They're staring at the TVs. So, okay. I have two more that I wrote down, but let me hop in and see some of your guys' questions. Rotational wedges to rotate teeth that all on the on ISOs. Budget I pair on wedges. So I'll do a video about rotational wedges. Um, the concept of it's pretty interesting. I might want to do a dedicated video on that though, because it is a little bit it's taking like five to ten minutes to explain. So I want to do that in a dedicated video. Whitewater kayaking videos. That's you know what? Olingo Echo, I'm writing that down. That is a genius idea. I went whitewater rafting last year for my buddy's bachelor party. And it was so much fun. And I want to watch those live videos. That's genius. Acrylic pouring, Sarah. We've done that one. It's so good. But the problem is, is when we watch that, it switches over to like these like four hour videos about people painting. And it's like mind bogglingly boring. It's like so slow. <laughs> like, so I, I end up skipping that. But like, I love the acrylic stuff. Then it like detours to something totally off anyways okay let's answer ted ed is good if you can play audio that's a good one too actually all right these are great i'm actually cute puppies i'm gonna write i'm gonna like copy and paste this and you guys are gonna be the recommendation of what we're watching in the office so thank you for all these this is these are all great okay all right all right all right all right so let's see here my wire is sticking out from the ends of my braces all right Ella, if the wire is sticking out in the back there's a video that I have talking about this. If you see the little middle mark and it's off to one side, that means your wire shifted, okay? So if that's the case, you can use like a back of an eraser or a, not back of the eraser, a pencil eraser or back of a toothbrush and push it back over. But if it's out on both sides, it means the wire's long. Give your orthodontist a call, then go in there and snip, snip both sides and you'll be good to go, okay? 
All right, what made me pursue orthodontics? I think orthodontics is an amazing, amazing field. Um, I love dentistry, I love orthodontics. I think it combines everything I love about like life. It's like art, science, um, creativity, people. I love people, so it's like interpersonal, so it's a lot of fun. That's why I like this so much. These lives have been a freaking blast. Like, I kind of look forward to Wednesday mornings because like, I have like my favorite subscribers hopping in here. They're engaging. We're we're talk. I feel like we're talking, and it's it's really cool. So it's like really great engaging with you. All right, all right. Play videos of other people that are happy with their braces, like Emma Lewis. Neo, I love Emma Lewis. Emma Lewis is like when I started my YouTube channel, I was watching a lot of Emma Lewis's stuff to get like inspo to like make more content because her engagement and her like happiness with her braces made me in excited to make more videos. So Emma Lewis, I. I, I doubt she's watching this, but because she braces are like long gone, but her, she was kind of the inspo for my channel. So it's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let me answer these two more from our last video and then I'll, I'll scroll through and read what your guys' questions are. Okay. Why is etch? Oh, they didn't ask this, but someone said that test the stuff that we put on your teeth is really sour. So the blue stuff that we put on your teeth is etch it, right? Look at all you guys loving Emma Lewis. Dude, she's like, super vibes like she's like so upbeat anyways etch the blue stuff that we put on the teeth it's really important because what it does is like it's like a conditioner it makes it so that the teeth are a little bit more porous so if you can imagine like the teeth are made out of these like super like micro rods okay so a bunch of like rods sticking out of the tooth and what we have to do is we have to be able to stick something onto that which are the braces, right? So what the etching does is that it like makes it a little bit more porous. So it makes the rods like open up like this. So that when we put the glue in, the glue can engage and hold the braces onto the teeth. That's like, we have a video. I had a video that was talking about how braces are put on before I put the video about like putting the braces on. And I talk about like the, the process of all this stuff and that's what the etching does. And that was the, that's the blue stuff. I mean, some orthodontists have green doesn't really matter. The concept is that it's this, this acid, right? Now, the reason it tastes so sour is because if you knew this or not, um, sorry, I'm a little congested. Uh, if you knew this or not, uh, acid is the taste of sour. So whenever you eat something that's sour, it's the taste of acid. And I know that sounds weird, but it's basically like these little like, it's like we're getting technical here, but it's little hydrogen ions and hydrogen ions give the taste of acidity, right? So whenever we put this in your mouth, it's it's acid. And that's the, the taste. I'm seeing some of these comments here. Okay. So that's that's why it's sour. It has to be acid to open up those, those rods so that the braces stick onto them. And that's why it is sour. Okay. Cold. Someone wrote here, food. Cold fruits make smoothies, meal replacements. Dude, guys, I'm looking for a really healthy smoothie for lunch if you guys know any youtubers that make like healthy smoothies like i want like a meal replacement lunch smoothie link it them or give their names in the, the comments or like link it in the comment section of the video because like i need a good lunch smoothie i'm like really tired of making the salad and by the end of the week the salad's like no good so please recommendations for lunches always appreciate it. i've been healthy so i'm actually pretty much vegetarian and vegan during the week now it's like a goal of mine like I'll, I'm, I'll do whatever on the weekend, but during the week I'm trying to be healthy and eating vegetarian and vegan. Vegan's hard though. I like cheese, but anyways. Now, a lot of people ask this one. I actually had a couple of patients, not patients. I had a couple of you guys ask, why did I only put the lower braces on, on the girl in that last live video? So the reason was because her upper, t so, and someone commented and had the right answer. So when we put her braces on, when she started her upper teeth and her lower teeth uh, overlapped a lot. Where are my teeth here? So her upper and lower teeth were like super over, right? So if I was to put on the top and the bottom braces, she would just shear off the lower, the lower braces. And it wasn't a case where I necessarily needed to use like bite turbos. You guys know what those are. I didn't need to use bite turbos because it wasn't like her bite was that deep. It was just that her upper teeth were leaning like over the lower ones. So when I put on the top wire, what it did is it, it leaned them forward like this and it gave me a little bit of clearance down here. So that's, if you look at the video when she bites down, you actually can see that her bite is pretty deep. But since that last appointment to this one, um, she was able to get a little bit more room so I could put the lower braces on without having to use turbos. So that's why I did just the lower braces. And I do that pretty often because I try to minimize 
how much my patients need bite turbos because I've had them and they're really annoying. Uh, like they're not comfortable, but when they're necessary, they're necessary, right? So I try to minimize the need for that. So I'll generally do the top races first, get that corrected, and then I'll do the lower ones and start. I actually start with rubber bands like really early on. So people are like, oh, I hate elastics. I'm sorry, but I start early on because it makes it so that, all right, I'm seeing a lot of this. Lazario, please stop spamming. Um, is there a way to like mute? This is not cool, guys. I don't, you're totally, thank you, smiley face. Stop, stop spamming. I don't know. Is there a way to like mute people? This is, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I found it. There's a way to pin. Put this user in timeout. Yes. There it is. He has been put in timeout. Good. All right. So that was like distracting. I kept seeing. Yeah, no, don't worry. All the spams have been mute. You know what? I'm not going to just mute them. I'm going to hide this user. Done. Okay. Back to good content here, guys. Okay. So that's why I put the upper braces on first and made it so that the lower ones would not be sheared off. Sorry, I got quiet there. I had to figure that out. All right. I'm going to get a cup of water. I'm going to drink some water here and then I'm going to look at your guys' questions and we're going to answer some because those are the main ones. I had so many happy birthdays, guys. Like, first of all, like, thank you so much. You guys are like the nicest people in the world. I really appreciate all the birthday wishes. I, I want to go through and, you know, I'm going to respond. To, I'm going to try to respond to each one like I did when I first started the channel. It's just really hard. Like I work like five to six days a week right now, guys. And by the time I come home, I try to come up with content, do lives. I'm like beat. So like I try to respond to comments when I have free time, but accept my apology. I can't get to all of them. I'm trying my best though. Okay, I'm gonna answer something. Hold on a sec here. Callie, I'm, I'm in California, Southern California. All right, cool. Let's do question time. Let's see here. Can you do a daily or weekly vlogs? I could try doing If you want me to, I could try to do that. If you guys want. So I did a video where like I talked a little bit too much in the beginning about like my life update and like people were like just get to the point. I was like, all right, well, I guess you guys don't care to see any of this stuff. I'll just do braces stuff. But if you guys want, let me know. I'll, I could do vlogs. I just feel like maybe I'll make up separate videos like vlog update or something like that. And then that way people don't expect it to be braces. They just get like vlogs you know what i mean maybe i'll do something like that i try to do it I'm trying to do it on instagram like i'm trying to like update you know do like stories on there but it's so hard to forget like you know people like post about their food like i get so into my food i forget to post it and then my food's gone and what i'm going to show like an empty plate like i'm so bad at this like i get like i like live in the moment too much when it comes to that kind of stuff okay i have the bite plate does that affect the correction of my deep bite or overbite Okay, you're like a little bit spanning, Zab, but I, I get it. I'll answer that one. Deep uh, bite plates are used to correct deep bites. And I have a video that talks about it. It serves the same purpose as a bite turbo. And what it does is it opens up the bite, so it corrects a deep bite and makes it so that your bite is less deep. Um, there's some tricks and tips about that. I have a video about turbos and on uh, bite plates. I think I have a video on bite plates. Check those out. I have the answer to those guys. And yeah, think... I don't know what to call you, but like Colin D, the smiley face guy, thank you for being my spamming police. I gotta, I gotta like give you guys, I, I wish I could give you guys like privilege to like mute people. That'd be amazing. You guys would be like so good at it. All right. Yeah, these, these spammers are actually, I answered that question I shouldn't have and I'm gonna put him in timeout too. Hey, this timeout thing is dope. I didn't know I could do that. So now I can like put people in timeout and it makes it so I can see your guys' comments. Serena, I'm gonna, that's a good question. Why does a posterior open bite happen during Invisalign? That's a really good question. So there's two reasons. One is if we prescribe IPR and don't do enough or do too little, when the trays close the space, it makes the arch like bow. So if you can think about it, like if we were like to put IPR in here and not do it and you like close the space, it'll make the arch like bow like this which causes a posterior open bite, like an open bite in the back. And the other one is, is the thickness of the aligners a lot of the times make it so that the back teeth separate temporarily. But don't worry, it will fix that at the end of your treatment. Maria, can you make a video about how you make retainers? Yeah, I can. Um, I wish I did it during residency because when we're in private practice as orthodontists, we don't make the retainer ourselves a lot of the time. We will send it to a laboratory to be made. And there's different types of retainers. So 
it depends on which one you want to see. It's a little bit easier to make to make the, the clear ones, um, but the holly ones are a little bit more difficult. What does 36 and 38 mean in terms of wire? Those are those are thicker sized wires. So do you guys know what the wires, you know how we always say like number like 014, 018, 16, 16, 22. Have you guys have you, have I told you guys what that means? It's actually really interesting what it is. Do you guys know? It looks like we have a spammer here again. So wire thicknesses, those numbers are actually measurements in inches. And it's like, let's say it's a 018. It's a 0 0.018 inches thick diameter wire. So like if we say an 014, it's 0 0.014 inches in diameter. And if we go to the next wire, which is usually like an 018 or an 016, that's, we're talking like 0 0.0 zero two difference in like it's like so that's what it is so let's say if we have like an 014 or an 018 and we go to a 16 by 22 it's 16.016 inches by 0 0.022 inches like it's a rectangular wire so that's those are what the wires mean so if you hear the numbers getting bigger that's the wires are getting thicker and now you know how many times should i wash my teeth so you should brush your teeth, not wash. Rinsing won't do anything, but brushing will be very helpful. Brush twice a day for two minutes. If you're in braces, maybe up it to three, uh, three times three minutes. Um, but it really, two minutes is enough. You just have to be good at brushing. You know, you gotta get those areas above, below the braces, along the gum line, chewing surface, tongue side. There's a lot of areas with braces, so that's why I say a little bit longer, just to make sure you cover all those areas. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That looks the number of times you go brush your day. Okay, so you can't like over brush your teeth. The thing is, is you have to, you could over powerfully brush your teeth. You don't want to do that because that can damage teeth, right? So you want to brush your teeth gently, but you want to, you can brush them as much as you want. Just be careful. Isaac, thank you so much. Big fan. I appreciate you so much. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see here. I haven't opened my due to tongue thrust. Yes, I will be doing a tongue thrust content soon. I actually have been in contact with this guy from Australia who makes a really cool product. This is a reminder after responding to his email, but I am gonna be probably doing a like a non-sponsored whatever review on his product because I actually think it's really creative. It's to help with tongue thrust. So your tongue should be resting on the top of your mouth. Uh, right here at rest. So if it doesn't, just try to train your tongue to go up there. I always recommend using like a sugar-free mint and holding it there and letting it dissolve. It'll train your tongue to stay up there and help you swallow properly. Okay, so interesting info. And the guy made a really cool uh, product about it. So I'm gonna check it out, review it, and then make it so it's available for you guys. I'm asking for a discount code for you guys. So just, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Hang tight on that. Yes, I wanna do a video on impacted teeth. I actually think that that'd be a really, really cool one. Okay, so I am gonna do a video maybe this week. I actually don't even know what this week's video is gonna be about yet because I, I film, if you guys know, I film tonight. So I film on Wednesday nights for these videos. But, oh boy, this has been fun. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I didn't know it was 23 minutes already. I'm gonna have to like wrap this up kind of soon here. Um, This is, you guys have... You guys leave so many amazing comments. I have to like put that out there. You guys are so great at these comments. And I'm gonna take all the advice you guys gave earlier on what to watch with um, at work today. Like today's gonna be whitewater rafting, but I have a few more that I wrote down in here. Dude, speaking of which, how tiny are these post-its? Like, I don't even know why I have these, but I don't wanna waste them. So I use them, I can put like one word on these things. I'm like, they're freaking like, palm in my hand. Anyways. I have to sign out here. I'm gonna make, um, you know, I'm gonna make another video. I'll see you guys this Saturday on that one, a little bit more polished video. If you guys wanna see more vlog styles, check out my Instagram for now, at Dr. Greg Ortho. If that is something you guys really like, I will make more content for this channel, like vlogs, day in the life, things like that. Just a little bit hard, and I don't know if you guys are interested in that. So let me know, um, but I will catch you guys on Saturday on another full episode of Race Explained, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. If you guys enjoyed this, subscribe. I'll see you guys next Wednesday for another one of these lives. And that is all. Thank you guys again for everything. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I will catch you guys later. Stay safe, all right, guys?